Hey everybody, Bob here and welcome to another Making Stuff video. And this video is an update on this guy, the filament extruder. And I've got some good news and some not so good news. Uh, the good news is I am running filament. I've solved all the problems but one. I've got the metal flake problem solved. Uh, I'm getting kind of consistent filament. It's good enough to run through a printer. Uh, the problem with this is it's slightly oval shaped. And if you look at it from this way, looking down, uh, it's, it's oval shaped that way. You can't see it with your naked eye, but if you twist it in your fingers, you can feel it. You can feel that oval shape in there. And if you put the calipers on it, um, you can see the, uh, the oval shape. I'll do that here in a minute. But uh, I do want to say that I, I ran about 10 meters of this stuff uh, through my printer. And out of that 10 meters, I was able to get one calibration cube printed without a jam. The rest of them uh, looked like this. And I'll show you this a little close up this on camera but uh, I'd get about halfway quarter way through that oval shape would exceed the maximum diameter my nozzle can handle or that the extruder can handle which is about 1.9 millimeters so what would happen is it would start and then it would hit one of those wide spots um, in the nozzle or the extruder and the whole thing would just jam and stop so uh, the good news is though, I am printing, um, and this, the one that printed, it, it's actually pretty good quality. So I'm, I'm really happy with uh, uh, this result. If I can just get this oval shape uh, figured out, I think we'll be ready to uh, make some uh, full production run of some filament. So let me uh, zoom in here and show you what we got here going on. Okay, so here is one of the cubes printed with the filament through the extruder. And other than me bumping the print bed while it was printing and knocking that uh, axis off, that's what this is. This, other than that, this turned out pretty good and that was my fault. So let me zoom in here. You can see this turned out pretty good. Uh, this is the top, that's the bottom. And this is a calibration cube that's supposed to be 20 by 20 by 10. So let's measure it. We're pretty close on that side. That one we're off just a little bit. And the thickness isn't, isn't quite there. Uh, it's close, close enough. So this is a commercial filament that I used, printed the same cube. on the same printer and the thickness is just about dead on but that side is off a little bit and so is that side so these turned out pretty good um, I actually think it turned out a little better than the commercial because you can see here on the side there's uh, looks like it had an issue here the sides just don't look as clean on that commercial as it does on the uh, the homemade uh, filament. And then here's one, uh, this was the first one I printed uh, after doing this cube and that's what the black is there on the bottom but you can see it's it's doing a pretty good job of printing and uh, what happened was this is uh, one of the tries where the filament just got too wide and it wouldn't go through the nozzle. You can see it actually twisting. Okay 177 you see I twist it at 90 degrees and it went up to 2. Now that's 180 degrees and it went back just right to where it was at. So there. So you can see as this twists, the size changes which tells me that it's oval shaped. So I've got to figure out that problem there and then this extruder will be ready to run a full production run of filament. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, give me that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos that are coming up. I am going to start another project 
uh, next week. I'm not going to have this uh, dominate the Making Stuff channel, but I am going to work on this and I'm going to start on something else that I think a lot of you guys will like. So hit that subscribe button so you don't miss that. And thanks for watching.